packed away your heavy winter coat yet because you're going to need it this week. No, no, I, <laughs> not at all. I saw earmuffs that I put, pulled out. <laughs> Heavier gloves. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Yeah, it didn't feel good today. We no. were talking about even though the sun, like psychologically, it makes it at least look and feel a little bit better. But today, when you keep reminding yourself it's late March, right? And then you feel that gust of wind come by, <laughs> you just be like, why is it this cold? <laughs> why does it have to be this way? Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to keep the chilly weather around at least through the start of the week. But then we're going to see a big time weather pattern flip come midweek. We're going to jump back into the 70s, probably into the mid 70s. Now, unfortunately, as I've been saying the past couple of days, whenever you get very volatile temperatures like that or these extremes from day to day temperature wise, oftentimes that can lend itself to some active weather. And I still think that's more than certain come Wednesday night and the Thursday. The question though is now whether or not it's just a plain old soaking rain or will there be some storms in the mix that we need to be worried about right now? I'm starting to lean more towards just a soaking rain as it looks like this storm system may outrun the energy that it needs for severe weather. So it's looking less likely for severe weather, but something we'll continue to watch very closely here tonight, though. It's all about the cold winter like feel outside here tonight. It feels like it's in the low 20s for most of us around the area. Those wind chills again tonight could dip down into the teens. One thing that's changing for us is the fact that at least here tonight we're seeing a little less wind for the first time since the weekend began. We're actually seeing wind speeds that are below 10 miles per hour, even if not by much. So that helps us out just a little bit. Now the trade off is clear skies, lighter winds usually lends itself to an even colder night in the actual air temperatures. And for that reason, while we may not see those wind chills drop as low tonight, we are going to be threatening record cold here in the tri state overnight. The old record is 18 right now. I'm forecasting 21. Some areas will certainly, especially some valleys, sheltered areas from the wind. Teens are a pretty good bet for some communities. We're already below freezing red 31. There's that north wind at the moment. Temperatures around the area generally either in the upper 20s or low 30s. The only spot above freezing well Maysville and then Alexandria, Walton and Dry Ridge all within a degree of that freezing mark. So you feel what's happening here tonight. It is going to be a very cold one as overnight lows sink their way down here into the 20s over the next couple of hours. All right, future cast. It's quiet tonight, at least if it's a chilly start to the week on your Monday, at least it's a quiet one. We may see a few passing clouds similar to today, but I think unlike today where we had to wait for the sun to pop out, I think tomorrow we were greeted with the sun and it's mostly it's partly cloudy throughout the day. Clouds will roll in here Monday night into Tuesday. It's quiet Tuesday. I'm not worried about anything frozen. The air is too dry, so you can kind of ignore this, but what you shouldn't ignore is the fact that Tuesday afternoon as a warm front starts to lift its way through the tri state scattered showers will develop Tuesday evening doesn't look particularly heavy, but that will signal the return of much warmer air and that sets us up for a warm and breezy day on Wednesday in which afternoon highs are likely to soar into the mid 70s. It appears right now any rain threat would come late Wednesday night, and that's part of the reason why I'm leaning towards less of a threat for severe weather and just more of a soaking rain. So here tonight, it's a frigid one, right? Some teens out there about 21 here in the city. Then tomorrow, mostly sunny, but still chilly. We should be closer to 60. We're only talking mid 40s. There's a look at your day planner. Again, a frigid start for the kids out there at the bus stop if they're unlucky enough not to have this week off as spring break. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. All right, there you have it. There's your evening showers on Tuesday and then during the day Wednesday, you'll be able to enjoy those 70s. So that will be nice. Despite the fact you see the dark clouds and thunder and lightning on Wednesday, that's for the rain Wednesday night and then it looks a little cooler heading into next weekend, but at least not nearly as cold as what we're dealing with right now. All right. Thanks a lot, Kevin.